Hi, I'm Kai, and in today's video, we want to have a look how we can create our own title page in ePlan. The title page is an automatic generated report in ePlan. That means you can make one template and use it in all of your projects. How to generate the title page? I have done already this video. I put a link below in the video description. And in this video, I will show you how you can create or modify the title page according to your requirements with your own company logo, maybe with some texts you always need and where the automatic text come on your report. We also want to have a look what is the difference between the original master data and where to find the master data and how we can use the title page in our project. So stay tuned. So here you can see a standard title page in ePlan. On the left side, you see the page navigator and you can see here on the icon that this is some automatic generated page. When we make a right click and go to properties, you can see that the page type is title page cover sheet and you have in the brackets a small a for automatic generated and you can give the page description. Here you can see the ePlan logo and a few texts. We will see where would this text come from and how to change it. And here on the right side on top, you can see the name of this form. And now we want to modify this form to our requirements. And when we go here to master data and under plot frames forms, you can see here plot frame and forms. The plot frame is here, this border frame, the outside of our page and all other forms like terminal stripe overviews, cable overviews, or even the title page, you can find under forms. Here you need to click on the drop down button and I recommend you always to copy an existing one and modify it to your requirements. Normally you should not start with an empty one, always copy an existing one and change it. When you click on open, you can open an existing one, but when you start from scratch or you want to create your own, you should copy an existing one. So we want to copy the F26001. I recommend you not to modify the original one. Always make a copy. So that means we go here. And here on the right side, we need to select what we want. You have seen that the name of the title page was F26. And when we go down here, you can see title page cover sheet. This is the, the uh, file type F26. So when we select here the F26 and we want to select 001, we click on open and then we get a copy of this and we can add, for example, here on the end, our company um, name, CPT. My name is control panel design, so I call it CPT and we click on save. And now you can open the title page. You can see here in the page navigator, now this is the page we can modify. This is the original page. It's still open. And this is now the new one. You can also see here the name. And what I now want to do is, first of all, we will have a look here under form name. This is the name of our form. Where comes this from? This is a property. When you click here on the more button, you can see that you can select a lot of properties and you can see here in the brackets a number. This is the first thing I want to show you where to get these numbers because it's much easier to work with the identifying numbers than here with the real word. So we go first to the settings and have a look on this. So when we go under user display and user interface, you can see here display identifying numbers and you can select behind the name or in front of the name. I really recommend you to activate this. It makes it much more easier. You will also see it later when we go to the project management texts, which we will use here. And you can under format, format the, this text. For example, you can change the size or in my um, video here, I will, for example, change it to invisible so that my customer cannot see this form uh, name. I click OK and basically this is something you can do with all this text. You can here do a lot of settings for this. 
And now we want to delete, for example, the ePlan picture here and want to insert our own company logo. So we go here to insert an image file. And then for sure you need to search for your company logo. And now you get the question if you want to get this image to your project directory, I recommend you always to say yes or okay. That means from your folder where the original um, image was stored, you can copy it to the current project directory. This is a big advantage later on when you want to make a backup or you want to give someone else your project that he also get this picture. So now we just can place it here. We can also change the size and have our company logo here. In the next step, we want to have a look here on these graphical things. Um, this is basically just a rectangle. When you want to add a rectangle, you can go here to insert, add rectangle and yeah, place it here wherever you want. And to get it filled, we make a double click and go here to fill surface, activate this checkbox and get the filled surface. This is the same here for this shadow view. This is just a rectangle with a filled surface. So here on the left side, we have now a normal text. This is a normal text. We can insert with insert and text and can write something here. And here is a very important thing. You need to think about if you want to do your project in several languages. That means you need to translate this text. You can see here the small icon that always shows you that this text is possible to translate. If there is a text which should not be translated, I recommend you to activate do not translate automatically. Otherwise, you mark the text, right click and translate if you have work with the um, translation database or you can go to multilingual input. And now you see that my setting is that I in my input language is German, though it is make no sense to say my text. I write in German here my text and in English my text and click OK. And then you have it in several languages available. So we can place it here wherever you want. And you see that even if I insert it in German, because this project is in English, it changed automatically the language. So this is basically what happens here on the left side with the text. This is just a normal text. And here on the right side, you can see that this is a placement, a placeholder text, and this comes from the project properties. This is something we want to have a look now where this comes from and how to insert this. Let's start here with the project description. You can see in the brackets that this is 10011 project description. So let's go back to file and project management and here to edit. And the project description is here, project description 10011. This is exactly the project description. So that means when you insert here some text, This will be automatically shown here. So how to get this text? We go here to insert and under text, you have the drop down button and here you can insert project properties or page properties. Under project properties, you click on the more button and can now select here from this list, the properties you want to show automatically. So the project description is already here. You can search for and you can see that there is a value already what I have insert in the project management and you can also see here in the bracket the right number that, that you know it's the right property. So we will just place it again. It doesn't make sense but it's just to explain how it works and there is another text this is the page property and then you can see 
which properties are available, for example, um, on, on the text. Maybe you want to have the creation uh, date here. So we can place the creation date. It's also already here. And this is the way how it works. You can also add QR codes or hyperlinks. Maybe you want to add a QR code for your own website. You click apply and OK. And you can scan now the QR code to your website. Or maybe you have a file server or something like this where you place the documentation for the whole project. You can also add this. You can add also hyperlinks to some documents. It works as ex exactly the same. And you can insert also graphics, what maybe makes no sense. If you want to delete something, you can mark it and just delete it. And yeah, on this point, we want to stop this modification and they, it's ready and we want to use it now in our project. That means we can here mark it on the page navigator, right click and close. And here in our project, we need now to change the title page. Therefore, we go to the tools, then here on generate. And we go first here to the settings, output to page and change here the title page of our project. To the one we want to have here in our project, click OK. And we can click on close. And now we want to generate the new, the new report. So we go here to generate, go to template, click on the plus. Select the title page cover sheet. We don't need to do something here. Uh, we want to have it in EAA document type according to IEC 61355. Click OK. Click on Generate Report and have here our new title page. So this page can be deleted. We don't need it. And now we have here our title page. So you can see that my project here is also my project, my text, and so on. And you can see the manufacturer company, ePlan, Pass Sample Project, Project Name, New Project. All this text comes here from the project management. So basically, you insert here your basic data for your project and show it automatically here on the title page. Now I hope it's more clear for you how to create your own title page. I recommend you to watch also this video. If you want to exchange your knowledge with other ePlan users, I recommend you to be a part of the Discord community. Follow me on LinkedIn and subscribe this channel. Hope to see you in the